Hello children, welcome to this week's Sunday Club video. We will continue to learn about God's faithfulness and his mighty power through the stories of Daniel and his friends. Enjoy! Hi, we're going to sing a song about Daniel in the lion's den. There once lived a good man named Dan, the best man that lived in the land. So honest and just that King Darius made Daniel his next in command. But there were some very mean men who did not like Dan the king's friend. So jealous they were that they planned a way out to throw down in the lion's den. The lions are hungry the tonight, they sang. The lions are hungry tonight. They've not eaten dinner, I think that they might. The lions are hungry tonight, they sang. The lions are hungry tonight. The king was as sad as could be. But he could not reverse the decree. He prayed the night through and skipped dinner too and ran the next morning to see. The lions are hungry tonight, they sang. The lions are hungry tonight. They've not eaten dinner, we think that they might. The lions aren't hungry tonight, they sang. The lions are hungry tonight. The king cried, oh Daniel, my friend, I'm wondering how you have been. And how is the weather? And are you still together? Did God keep you safe in the den? And then the most wonderful thing that's ever been heard by the king Deep down in the den stood old Daniel with a grin, and this is the song he did sing. The lions weren't hungry last night, they sang. The lions weren't hungry last night. My guardian angel has shut their mouths tight. The lions weren't hungry last night, he sang. The lions weren't hungry last night. The story has something to tell, a lesson to learn from Daniel. When others mistreat you like lions that eat you, it doesn't help much if you yell. And so when your back's to the wall, be good and love God through it all. And then in the end you can sing with a grin, cause God will always hear you when you call. The lions weren't hungry last night, you'll sing. The lions weren't hungry last night. My guardian angel has shut their mouths tight. The lions weren't hungry last night, you'll sing. The lions weren't hungry last night. Bye! Do you find it hard when everybody's wanting to do something and you know it's not right to stand up for what is right? Do you have the courage? We're going to read about somebody today who had courage, who had belief in God, and God rewarded that and kept him safe. This then is the story of Daniel. Daniel was one of the exiles from Israel who went to Babylon, and this is what happened to him. The armies of the Medes and the Persians conquered Babylon and King Darius, ruler of the vast empire, set up his headquarters in the city. Darius organised his empire well. He chose 120 governors to rule over the many regions and put three supervisors over the governors to make sure that they were loyal to the king. One of these was Daniel. The king soon found that Daniel was so much better than all the rest that he planned to put him in complete charge. The governors and other supervisors didn't like this. 
and they were determined that they, the king should do no such thing. They were bitterly jealous of Daniel and decided to find some way of getting him and putting him into the king's bad books. But however hard they tried, they could not catch Daniel doing anything wrong. He believed in God and in doing what was right. We shall have to find something about this Jewish religion that will get him into trouble, they decided. Although Daniel had lived in Babylon for many years and grown from a teenager to an old man, he had stayed loyal and true to God. Three times a day he went to the window and looked in the direction of Jerusalem, where the temple had stood. Then he knelt and prayed to God, who was with him, even though he was far from home. At last the jealous officials came up with a scheme to get rid of Daniel. Your Majesty, they said to the king, we've drawn up a new law for you to pass. It states that whoever wants anything during the next month must ask you for it and not request it from any other king or god. Please sign the law with the seal of the Medes, law of the Medes and the Persians, which means it can't ever be revoked and broken. Anyone who disobeys this law must be thrown into a pit of lions. Darius didn't realise that they set a trap for Daniel. He agreed and signed the law with his own royal seal. The governors and supervisors thought carefully when they drew up the law for the king to pass. They knew that Daniel prayed every day, asking God for all he needed. They would soon find him guilty. They knew that the laws of the Medes and the Persians were binding. The king could not go back on his word. When Daniel heard about the new law, he guessed that the other people were out to get him. But he would not stop praying to God, even though, or even pretend to stop, even though it could mean he was going to die. He knelt by his open window as usual and prayed aloud to God. When his enemies saw him, they rubbed their hands with glee. Daniel had fallen into their trap and so had the king. Your Majesty, they said to Darius, do you remember the law you passed? Daniel's breaking it three times a day. They could scarcely hide their satisfaction. He makes requests to his God and defies your law. Too late, Darius realised that he'd been tricked and condemned his best and well-loved minister to death. All that day he tried to think of some way of saving Daniel. By evening the officials were back. Your Majesty knows that the law of the Medes and Persians cannot be broken, they reminded him. The king knew that he was caught in their trap. Unwillingly he gave orders for Daniel to be arrested, taken to the lion's den where the hungry lions were kept to make short of work of troublesome criminals. The king himself went with Daniel. You have been loyal to your God and shown great courage, David, Daniel. I hope he keeps you safe. Daniel was dropped down the narrow opening of the pit where the lions paced up and down. They kept hungry, ready for somebody to come down. Then a large stone was put over the top. The king returned to the palace with a heavy heart. He waved away the servants who ran forward to serve him. No food, he said, no music. Then he went to bed. For all night long he tossed and turned, unable to sleep. He knew that he had condemned to death a good man. An honest man who had served him well. As soon as the first light of dawn came out, crept into the window, Darius sprang out of bed. He could bear the suspense no longer. He summoned his servants and was soon on his way to the lion's pit. The huge stone was removed and the king called down into the darkness. Daniel, servant of the living God, was your God able to save you from the lions? 
With a thrill of relief, he heard Daniel's voice echoing from within the pit. Your Majesty, God sent his angel to close the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me. He did so because I'm innocent and have done your majesty no wrong. The king was overjoyed. Hurry, hurry, he said to his servants. Get ropes and pull David out of the, Daniel out of the pit. They hauled Daniel up and looked at him hard. There was not even a scratch to be seen on him. Then the king's relief turned to anger against the men who had tried to murder and trick, Dan trick him and murder Daniel. Throw those wicked conspirators to the lions, he commanded, and his orders were quickly obeyed. This time, the lions didn't keep their mouths shut. In the face of all of this, Daniel was true to his God and showed great courage. And God did not fail him. When you have difficulties and find things are hard and it's difficult to do the right thing, remember Daniel. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. He is the one who will keep you on track. He is the one who will keep you on track. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. He is the one who will keep you on track. He is the one who will keep you on track. <laughs> This week we're just going to do a quick little thing to help you remember what Daniel did, how he trusted in God and was kept safe from the lions. So what we need is a piece of paper, I've got some coloured paper because it gives a good contrast, and three cake cases. Now what we need to do, or some glue and pens of course, this is going to be our lion's face. So we're going to just colour it in to give a background. Nice yellow lion's face. And then two eyes, a nose. A mouth and then let's give him some whiskers and there's your lion's mouth you can see he's smiling because God made him a good lion that it wouldn't eat up Daniel let me open him out and we can stick it to the board Like that. Here's a couple of others I've done. There we go. So there's your lions. Now I'm just going to draw in a Daniel. I'm sure you can do a better drawing than me. Daniel's very happy because the lions didn't eat him. And then we'll just write on what it is. Let's 
see Daniel in the lion's den and here's the verse that will go with it when asked what by the king why he was okay he said God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths and you can find that in Daniel chapter 7 verse 21 and that's it for this week now if you look underneath this video you'll see a link to a spot the difference picture from Daniel in the lion's den good spotting bye bye hello Santa Club hi children so today we are continuing with our theme on trust and we're going to be saying a prayer and then we're going to sing the prayer okay <laughs> that's interesting yeah let us pray jehovah in you we trust in you we believe you are the god of miracles you are the god of wonders you are the god all powerful we believe we believe amen, amen. now we're going to sing the prayer and jehovah is just another name for God. Let's see.
you enjoy the story of Daniel today. I also hope that you will learn to trust the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel. Yes, remember, he hasn't changed. Forever the same God. Take care. God bless you. Bye.